Hello and welcome to Natilic Live with me, Ian Anderson, uh, Practice Director for Network Security and Data Center Technologies at Natilic. Uh, I'm here today with Richard Harvey, our Systems Engineer from F5 Networks. So we're just really following on from the previous uh, Natilic Live with Matt Smith. Um, just want to talk about um, some more, a little bit more in depth around the antibot capability that Matt was mentioning. Yeah, sure, thanks. So the key thing to remember about bots is not all bots are bad and we have to factor that in. So there's good bots, there's bad bots, but upwards of maybe 50% of the traffic floating around is bot traffic. So it's key that we can identify and categorize whether it's a good bot or a bad bot. And we can do that with, with over 900 predefined signatures for doing that. But as sophistication levels of bots gets bigger, we need to start doing more intelligent based research to identify that. And we can do that in a number of ways with injecting JavaScript challenges into the traffic that's coming in, fingerprinting that traffic. So once we establish it's a bot, and establish whether it's good or bad, we can actually then fast track that traffic through the system without rechecking. And we can drop stuff at the front door, saving you bandwidth from protecting the back end applications. Okay. And, and nowadays, uh, stolen credentials is a, a big problem for a lot of businesses. How do you uh, uh, provide a solution around that? Yeah, that's a huge challenge at the moment. We're seeing weekly. Uh, information coming out about the scale of, of dumps of, of user credentials onto the dark web that are then being farmed for credential stuffing attacks or used to access systems. The F5 AWAF's got some unique functionality that we've ported from another part of the portfolio that actually allows us to protect end users details on their computer. So everyone knows obviously when they browse to the website they look for the padlock established that there's a secure connection. Yeah. But you have to remember that connection is only secure when it leaves the laptop. When you're actually typing into that screen on your browser, a browser level, that's in the clear. So if there's an infection on your laptop, it can be compromised. Yeah. So we have a lot of clever technology we've built into our WAF that again, we can encrypt that as people are actually typing in those details. We can hide and manipulate field information that someone trying to scrape your website can't actually establish which field to monitor with their uh, with the viruses that they install. So there's a lot of clever stuff that's embedded into the WAF that the users will never even know is there yeah. that's protecting them. That's brilliant. And like in this day and age, like uh, applications are deployed in a myriad of ways and across different environments. Uh, how can uh, F5 help with that and, and protect that wherever that, that application might reside? So we, again, are seeing a lot of stuff. Historically, everyone knows F5 is a good, solid, traditional hardware vendor and we're still very much in that space, but the demands from our customers are to facilitate you know, what we're now seeing as a reality with the multi-cloud story. And people are starting to choose to deploy across different public clouds, into private clouds, into hosted environments. So we have to be able to offer the same products and technology wherever it is and in whatever form factor it is. Yeah. So we've worked hard over the last couple of years to take our solutions not just virtualizing them, not just creating cloud templates and cloud images to deploy across all the major cloud providers. That's great to have the technology, but if we're still charging for it how we would with a traditional model, it doesn't really work. So we've taken all of that and we can now offer it either in pay-as-you-go, perpetual licensing, subscription-based licensing. We can even start looking at binding in things like enterprise agreements and, and ELAs around bundling software and, and moving forward, hardware as well, into a big wrapped up term-based deal. Right. So in, in essence, you can uh, consume the uh, product in any way, whether it be on a hardware or a virtualized appliance in the cloud, and you can pay for it in a myriad of ways. Exactly. Well. How do you need it? What form factor? How do you want to pay for it? There's an option to go whichever way, and the technology you're deploying, be it on-prem or in the cloud, is the same technology, so the same quality of security controls giving you that consistent po policy and posture wherever the application is sitting. That's great. Well, thank you very much, Richard. It's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Uh, as ever, if you've got any questions, please reach out to your Natilic account manager or come to our website directly. Thank you very much.